Once again, good morning and welcome to our Stat and Prob class. This morning, we will have the guide in doing your performance task number one, which is the probability distributions in the real world. Now, what you're going to do is you will do an experiment. It means you need to do the activity itself. Record the possible outcomes and frequency, probability of each outcome. Then you need to show the PMF both in the piecewise function and also in tabular form and construct its histogram. And then solve for the mean and variance of the discrete probability distribution. You will have two experiments to do today. First is you need to toss a coin 25, uh, you need to toss five coins 20 times. Then you will record the number of heads that will occur. In the second experiment, you will draw two pens 20 times. Note that the box should contain two blue, two black, and two red pens. If you don't have any blue, black, and red pens, you can simply roll a paper and label two of those as blue, two as black, and two as red. Then record the number of red pens being drawn. Let me give you an example. Here's a sample random variable table for the first performance task, which is on coin toss. Example, you will toss five coins. And in the first toss, the, the outcome is tail, tail, head, head, tail. You need to do this until you will reach the 20th toss. Then after writing all the results, you need to count the number of heads. So for example, here we have two, two for the heads. After having this one, you need to summarize it up with your random variable table. But remember, before ending this table, you need to place example, if X is your number of heads, then what can be the possible values of your X? Then after this table, you need to have your PMF. Let's start with a tabular form. What will happen? The value of your X, like example, zero, one, two. Then you count how many zeros are there, how many ones, how many twos, and have your P of X. The next one is your PMF in piecewise function. So you can have P of X is equal to two over 20 if X is equal to blank or blank. But after that, you need to construct your histogram. The X axis is for your X, while the Y axis is for your P of X. Then you need to apply what you have learned in Lessons one and two. To apply what you've learned in lesson three, you need to solve for your mean and variance. I suggest you can draw another table, but be sure to complete them. Like you have the X, the P of X, show please your procedure, your X squared P of X. Um, X P of X, and then your X squared P of X and solve for your mean and also for your variance. No need to solve for the standard deviation. Any questions for the first output? No questions? Let's go to the next output. In the next output, you will draw two pens. It means that you'll place six pens in a box, two blue, two black, and two red. Then you will draw two pens. Um, since we have the black and the blue with same, with same starting letters, then I suggest you write the results in full. For example, in the first draw, 
you have red, comma, blue. Then count the number of red pens. One. Next, blue and black. So you have zero. Then after this one, be sure to write the possible values of your X, your PMF in table, and your PMF in piecewise function then your histogram, then complete the x, p of x, x times p of x, and the x squared times p of x. Then solve for your mean and your variance. Any questions?